This video is brought to you by our amazing supporters over at Patreon. Hey everyone, it's Ben from Board to Bits, and in this video I'm going to be implementing the rest of our kind of modular generation scripts the, uh, for the walls, the stories, the wings, etc. Um, I'm not going to go super into detail into why I'm doing things with the strategies because I talked about that in the previous video, but I will talk a little bit about the kind of overall system architecture here. Um, the first thing I want to talk about in that is that I'm actually going to kind of be building these starting at the end and then working my way up, and that's because things like the wing is actually going to incorporate, say, the stories, or generating the story will incorporate generating the walls. So I want to start with the very end ones that don't have really any dependencies, and then I can work my way up. So to start, I'm going to go into Unity, and I'm going to create some new folders. Walls, stories, story, wings, and okay. And then inside walls, I'm going to create a wall strategy and a default wall strategy. And I'll essentially be doing the same thing for each of the others. With all those created, I'm going to open up the wall strategy. This is going to work very similar to the roof strategy. It's simply going to inherit from scriptable object. And it's going to kind of define an abstract method that will actually create the wall array. So basically what we're returning here, this idea of a uh, wall array. So in fact, what I might just do is copy this here. Paste that in here. The static. And I do believe, yes, I want to make sure that the class itself is abstract as well. All of these initial strategies are going to be abstract. There we go. Next, I'll open up the default wall strategy. Scripts, generation settings. And this, similar to the default roof, is simply going to do what is currently being done in the um, building generator. So I'm going to copy all of this. Paste it into here. This is going to inherit from wall strategy. And this is going to be a public, oops, public override. There we go. And that should be good there. So now we can just go into the building generator, comment this out, and down here where the walls would be generated, similar to here where we used to be calling on our generate roof. Whoops, this did not. Oh, right, because I'm using the Visual Studio uh, shortcuts. So here now, um, much like how over here we used to be calling generate roof from here, but that got commented out, we're going to now check, do we have in our settings, do we have a roof strategy? If not, um, generate the default one, otherwise actually use the one that's there. So we're going to, I'm going to comment this out quickly. And replace this with a check, um, a check here. So we're going to say settings dot, oh, and I do need to add that to the settings because right now we can't check if any of these settings actually exist. 
So I'm going to quickly jump to the building settings. And in here, I'm going to add the rest of these strategies here now. So I'm going to say public, actually, I'll do these up top. I'll do these in the order they were seen there. So public walls strategy, walls strategy. And then we have story, story, stories, wing, wings. Public story strategy, story strategy. Stories, strategy, stories, strategy. Public wing strategy. Oh. Wing strategy. So with these in place, now we can actually check these. So we're going to say if settings dot wall strategy does not equal no, then we can use settings dot walls strategy dot generate walls and pass in the we need the settings, we need the bounds, and we need the level, which is. Just level. Okay. Otherwise, we'll need to create a wall strategy out of a scriptable object dot create instance, and the instance we're going to create is of a default wall strategy. And then we'll tell that to generate walls for us using those same settings, bounds, level. Okay, and now we can delete this generate walls. So now we can proceed to creating the story. And this is where things get a little bit more involved because we're now going to be actually, instead of just um, you know, implementing this within the method that, or instead of, <clears throat> so now we're gonna do the story scriptable object. And in this case, it's a little bit more involved because we're not only implementing the kind of implementation within here, we're also technically going to be referencing the generate walls, but that's why we're passing the settings from place to place is that now we can check in the settings and say, oh, do we have a particular setting for generating the walls or are we just going to use the default and so we can keep on doing this so what we'll do is I'm going to go to the generate story first off the story strategy this is going to again inherit from scriptable object and I'm simply going to take the signature from here drop it in here I'm going to say make this an abstract class I'm going to put in a public abstract generate story method. Then I can open up my default story strategy. This is going to inherit from story strategy. And I'm going to go to the building generator and I'm going to copy this whole thing up to here. And I'm going to say public override and then paste that all in there and that gives us that and now like I say we can kind of just copy and paste this because we're doing it this kind of bottom-up method we already have now the wall strategy all handled here because it's still referencing the settings from the parameter here and so we don't have to worry about you know switching anything out or anything even though we're moving this whole thing from the building generator into this new scriptable object You'll also note that despite the fact that I am um, 
making these into scriptable objects, I'm not using the menu assets. That's because these are the de default strategies. And so we'll never actually need to kind of create an instance of these. It's only when we start creating other custom strategies that we'll have um, different assets that we'll create so that we can start uh, messing with the settings. Okay, so now again, I need to go into the um, settings here or inside of the generate stories method and I need to check, do we have a generate story strategy? So we're going to say, I'm going to comment this out quickly. I'm going to push this down. And then I'm going to say here settings dot story strategy does not equal null. If so, then we'll use settings dot story strategy dot generate story with settings bounds and one as our parameters. We're just always going to match whatever the original thing we had was. Otherwise, we'll generate an instance of a story strategy by doing scriptable object dot create instance of default story strategy. And then we will generate a story out of that. And again, we'll pass in settings, bounds, and one. I can delete this. Save that. And keep working our way up. I'm going to close out the wall strategies here. Roof strategy. Next we'll go to stories. Default story strategy becomes an abstract class. Oops, rather. Story strategy becomes an abstract class. And here's a scriptable object. Delete all of that. Copy the signature. And then we'll copy the whole thing except for static. In default story strategy, this is going to inherit from story strategy, and we're going to do a public override to generate stories. Now that we have those, we can comment this out. And then up here, we do our check. Move on to the wing.
finally, the wings. So now what we've essentially done is we've kind of distributed out, rather than generating everything hard-coded in the building generator, we are now kind of dispersing that into all of these individual strategies which we can kind of mix and match using our building settings. Right now it's still going to do the exact same thing for us, we're just going to create that kind of everything's going to kind of fall back to the default. Um, unless we start replacing this with scriptable objects of custom settings, which we'll get into in our next video. In the meantime, you can kind of see how this works. You can jump over to Unity, and if we go back to our building demo here, we really see nothing has particularly changed except that if I go into the settings, I now have space for all of the different settings. Um, the only one that I have uh, something that I could put into is the roof strategy at the moment in terms of a custom strategy, but right now it'll still do kind of the same thing we were doing originally, which is that if I hit play, we still get our kind of default building no matter what size we make it. Single story, single wing, single type of roof, etc. But over time, we'll be able to now implement additional strategies for everything from the wings right down to the roof and be able to really customize what we want our buildings to be like. In the meantime, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.